Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about the respiratory system, anatomy and physiology. So when they are asking you to say about any one system at the time of interview, if you are choosing to say about respiratory system, you have to talk about the system nearly for at least two minutes. Okay, so to complete the two minutes, uh, you must have a... Uh, 60 points with you so that it can cover all those two minutes content okay so in this i have precise the notes and i have given here so if you find it useful you can use this notes also or else you can add up the easy points which you are finding out and you have to make it in a easiest way when you are presenting it in front of the interviewer so we'll start a respiratory system whenever we are starting with a system you have to talk about the function of the system so function of the respiratory system are first one is oxygen supply second one is elimination third one is gas exchange fourth one is passageway and fifth one is humidifier oxygen supply it gives uh, it supply oxygen to all parts of the body elimination it mainly eliminates carbon dioxide gas exchange it is happening between the blood and the external environment passageway allows the uh, air to reach the lungs humidifier it humidifies and warms the incoming air so these are the important functions of respiratory system so whenever we are talking about the system we have to start with the function of the system so that it will be quite interesting when you carry it along so next comes the anatomy of the respiratory system so the organs of the respiratory system include nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchi and the small branches and the lungs which contains the alveoli so in this uh, here i have given an image so that you can uh, relate those uh, parts in the image so whenever we are describing about the system now you should have a proper diagram in your mind so that when if you uh, in between if you don't get points also you can remind uh, about the diagram and uh, relate those points and you can say so these are the anatomical part of the respiratory system now we will explain each part in detail okay so that it will be helpful so the upper respiratory tract include nasal cavity paranasal sinus pharynx and the portion of the larynx above the vocal cord the lower respiratory tract include larynx below the vocal cord the trachea bronchi bronchioles and lungs the lungs are most often considered as a part of lower respiratory tract but sometimes described as a separate, separate entity. They contain the respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, alveolar sacs and alveoli. So when we are talking about when you are starting after uh, completing this function you can say respiratory system is divided into two upper respiratory and lower respiratory in upper respiratory what all parts are included and in lower respiratory what all parts are included so that it is a point so next comes the nose so when you are telling about the nose you have to say it is an olfactory and respiratory organ it consists of a nasal skeleton and um, the uh, the nose or the nasal cavity has four main functions first one is warm and humidifies the inspired air second remove and trap pathogens or uh, foreign bodies third responsible for sense of smell fourth one brain and clear the paranasal sinus and lacrimal ducts so we now we are going to explain each part like we have seen you know the respiratory system part so we are going to explain each parts now so when you are talking about each part you can add up uh, nearly five or six points so that it will have a clear uh, explanation next comes the pharynx pharynx uh, or throat okay is a multitasking muscular funnel that helps to breathe and direct food and liquid to the digestive system a pharynx has three parts okay nasopharynx oropharynx and hypopharynx nasopharynx is at the top of the throat it connects the nose to the respiratory system oropharynx is uh, present in the middle of the throat it contains tonsils base of the tongue and connects you to the oral cavity air food and fluid pass through the oropharynx next come the hypopharynx it is at the bottom of the pharynx it uh, regulates how food moves to the esophagus and to the digestive system and how air moves to your lungs 
so this is all uh, what you can say about pharynx next comes the larynx larynx is a part of your respiratory system it is a hollow tube it is about 4 to 5 cm in length and width it let the air uh, pass from your throat that is pharynx to your trachea on the way to your lungs larynx is also the reason you are able to make sound so it is often called as voice box we can divide larynx into three parts that is the upper part is called as supraglottis the middle part glottis the lower part is subglottis okay next here i have given i have explained like what a supraglottis if needed you can add up otherwise you can um, end up till the three parts explaining the three parts you can uh, finish off with the larynx so next we will be explaining about trachea trachea is a long u tube um, u shaped tube that connects larynx that is voice box to your lungs the trachea is often called as a windpipe it is a key part of the respiratory system so when we are breathing in the air travels from the nose or the mouth through the larynx it then passes through the trachea to the bronchi where the bronchi carry the air to the lungs so next is the tracheobronchial tree the trachea is a part of a tracheobronchial tree the tracheal bronchial tree where the air travels to the lungs and exchange gases that is carbon dioxide and oxygen so the tracheobronchial tree includes trachea bronchi bronchioles bronchi means the large tube that connects the windpipe and the lung bronchioles are the small thing next you have to explain about the lungs the lungs are the organs of the respiration the main function of the lungs is to oxygenate the blood so next we have to tell about where it is located the lung is um, uh, located either side of the mediastinum within the thoracic cavity each lung is surrounded by a pleural cavity which is formed by visceral and parietal pleura next you have to talk about the lung structure it is a cone shaped with apex base and three surface and three borders left lung is slightly smaller than the right due to the presence of the heart next you have to say each lung consists of apex base lobe surface um, and borders so you can say what is apex what is base and what is lobes and uh, what is uh, surface we have three surfaces what are they that you can explain then you have to say about the lobes okay the right lung and the left lung do not have a identical lobular structure right lung has three lobes superior middle and inferior uh, the lobes are divided from each other by two fissures oblique fissure and horizontal fissure uh, the left lung contains superior and inferior lobe which is separated by similar oblique and similar oblique fissure okay so uh, the lungs uh, right lung has three lobes and left lung has two lobes that you have to say so whenever you are explaining it try to add up like um, a few points i told you know we have to say at least 60 points so that it will be covering everything then you can say about the bronchial tree the bronchial tree is a series of passages that supply air to the alveoli of the lungs it begins within the trachea which is divided into right and left bronchus each bronchus enter into the root of the lung passing through the hilum inside the lung they are divided to form a lobar bronchi one supplying each lobe okay so you can see the image and you can um, read the description so that it will be easy for you to understand and if you feel it difficult you can prepare your own notes also I have gathered the notes like which I felt it will be quite easy for you to understand or uh, while explanation it will be easy for you so that I have collected those points which I felt easy next that's all about lungs and bronchial tree everything next you have to see about the glossary like what are the medical terms okay so here I have added few things about uh, bronchoconstriction bronchodilation cardiac notch hilum lung and few things are also added so that it will be helpful for you to understand the medical terms which are related to the respiratory system make a note of these uh, glossary also because it will be helpful for you to understand the terms when you are 
reading a scenario or uh, when you are explaining or when you have a written test based on this it will be helpful for you next is parietal pleura pleural cavity pleural fluid pulmonary artery pulmonary plexus visceral pleura I have given uh, all those things okay so whenever you are preparing for this uh, anatomy things no mostly you have to uh, see the images diagram plays a very important role in understanding the anatomy so that uh, never ever mug up a system understand the image first and you can see the video also so that you will understand how the system is working and everything so that it will be uh, really really helpful for you to understand about the system and uh, remember all those points without forgetting like if you mug up certain things no you will easily forget that so don't mug it uh, don't uh, mug up you have to understand the concept and you have to study and you have to um like what you have to understand each and every uh, medical term so that it will be really helpful for you uh, in in your career growth okay so that's all what i what i can say and here i have added few conditions that is affecting this uh, respiratory system also so you can go through it thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and make a note of all the systems whichever i am adding in the playlist so that it will be really helping you at the time of uh, preparing for your interview thank you so much for your time take care wish you all the best for your interview take care bye bye